Hello everyone, your favorite Tenso Tech Jedi Lisa here with number three in this classroom management series. This video, we're going to talk about the thumbnail tools. So I'm going to go ahead and click right on over into thumbnail view and let's just get right into it. Again, this is going to be based off the groups that you have selected over here. So just remember that you are only going to be seeing the thumbnails of the the classes, the sites, or the groups that you select over here. I'm going to go ahead and showcase all of the devices, which again, it's not very many because I did mention earlier, I wanted to keep this um, kind of small and clean so that you can get a really good view of everything that I am training you on. So once we are in thumbnail view, I'm going to go ahead and talk about these sets of tools right up here at the top. And then in the next video, because I don't want these to be very long, we will talk about the tools right as you uh, click on these and you go into the thumbnails on those devices. So to make this a little bit bigger, I'm gonna kind of skip ahead a little bit and I'm gonna click on the magnifying glass, but we're gonna come back to that one. Okay, so first off, select all. You see that it puts those little check boxes right there, those little checks or tick boxes, whatever you'd like to call them. Again, these are gonna be super important. Remember that when we start talking about the tools up here about selecting which devices you want to push our tools out to. You have a search feature in here just like you did on the list tool ones where you can search for a specific device or user on that device. Now the quality here you can change from low, medium to high. I would say you're fine with leaving it at a high quality because our bandwidth is so small it's not going to make the connection move slow. I would say the best example I could give you for changing that is if you are off-site somewhere that does not have a very good uh, internet connection or maybe you're on your phone trying to load thumbnails maybe change that just so they load a little bit quicker okay filter we have again another filter to logged in logged out or none this one is really great again i'm going to cheat a little bit and do the magnifying glass because i want to bring your attention to the information that's listed at the top of these thumbnails we're giving you device name, username, but you see how it's a lot of information. You may not want to look at all of that at the top of those thumbnails. This tool is really awesome that you can select username and now you can just see the username that's on a device. You can select the device name and now you can just see the device names on there or display name. Display name is especially handy on those Chrome devices so you can just see the student's name that are logged into those device. Now that does require a little extra setup by your organizational admin for Senso but I will have a video in another series that references that so make sure that whoever needs to see that sees that video. Okay here take mouse control only. This is such a cool tool. Okay I know I keep using it. Let me just reference. Let me just go ahead and talk about it expand thumbnails and shrink thumbnails this is again a way you can take them all the way down to itty itty bitty if you have a lot of thumbnails that you're looking at or you can take them out super large now what thumbnail does uh, excuse me what take mouse control only does now this is a windows specific tool i could do this on multiple devices but i want to show you what it looks like on this one if i click mouse control only see i get this cool little cursor right here that lets me know i have a mouse control of this device so I could come down here and I could start working on this device right here in uh, thumbnail view and this will make a lot more sense when you watch the next video and you see what it looks like when we go into large screen view of this but this is a handy tool if you wanted to work right here in this view of thumbnail and not take it out to full screen so when I'm done utilizing this tool I simply stop mouse control only you'll see my little cursor goes away and now I don't have mouse control of that device anymore. Again, this is a Windows specific tool. I will reference tools that are Chrome and Windows specific so to kind of help you out. Uh, we talked about magnifying glass because you saw how much fun I was having with that one. And then this is for switching monitors. Maybe you have a setup for uh, in a classroom where the student or uh, whomever has two monitors on their device and you want to switch back and forth in this view to uh, see the monitor here in this thumbnail view. Okay, now Next is you can take this view out to full screen, which means it's going to remove all of those, uh, this set of tools up here and this group view so that you can see this and look at your devices in a much bigger view. Okay, so in the next video, I'm going to talk about this continued where we go into the individual devices and I talk about the thumbnail tools available to you for remote control. All right, I'll see you there.